Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So just a quick one and sorry for the second video spam of the day, but big news because we now have the brand new Tyranid Codex announced over on the Warmer community website. Um, there's no dates attached to this, sadly. Again, you can see the art in the background. I have to say, the art of these new codexes are really um, awesome, especially this one. I actually think this is one of my favorite um, codex covers um, so far coming uh, uh, with everything that we've got so far. Now, the article goes into a little bit of information, but not a lot. It just says a shadow is looming over the Warhammer community. The chittering can only mean one thing. The Tyranids are on their way. Now, we already know that the Tyranids were incoming because they actually stated, like, after the Eldar Codex, the Tyranid Codex would be the next one. It goes into a little bit more detail and says, nobody embodies the ferocity and strength of the Hive Leet better than the Hive Tyrant, and this is why they've, like, picked it on the front cover. But there is some little, in, in like, interesting lore uh, stuff in this article, which again piques my interest because I love reading lore. It says inside the book you'll find a fully updated rules for the Tyranids, of course, we, you know, we expect that, um, as well as background information leading to the first contact with mankind right up to the present day apocalyptic Octarian War. And this is what's like the big thing now, the big setting for the Tyranids. We all know what's been going on there with the Orcs, the Imperium, um, all the clashes, all the deaths, all the devastation. And it says, despite the Imperium's best efforts, High Fleet Leviathan, uh, High Fleet Leviathan, I can't even bloody talk today, I'm sorry. High Fleet Leviathan runs rampant, and it seems that not even being the largest Orc Empire in the galaxy can stop them. So if the Orcs can't stop the Tyranids, what the hell can the Imperium do? Like, if there was one race I would say can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Nids, it would be the Orcs. And they're stating here that the largest Orc Empire was basically just brushed aside. So, oh my Emperor of Mankind, we better start preparing. I think it's time that we have a little truce and we all come together and start purging some Nid. It does actually mention in this segment that you will have a fleet of uh, Crusade campaigns available in the Tyranid Codex, which will be interesting. Um, doing like a narrative thing as a Tyranid. Like, what is their narrative? Nom, 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 nom. And even more nomings. Um, so yeah, that'll be kind of a, uh, like, well, a fun thing to see and see like what traits they get for, for uh, Crusade. Um, as I said at the start of the video, no dates yet. The only thing that they do mention is that they'll be having a look inside this upcoming Codex in the weeks to come uh, so keep your eyes peeled of course on the warm community website i personally think that this is going to be previewed at the end of this month and released at the start of april sometime probably within the two first weeks of april because there's still a lot to come now in this month you have all the combat patrols you still got all the rest of the eldar stuff to hit out you've got the adepticon and all their reveals to cover so yes i see this coming out at the start of april rather than the end of march anyway chaperunios that's me for another video thank you for coming thank you for watching as i'm recording this right now there is no new model previewed um hopefully it'll come later on tonight maybe we get free videos from Valrak in one day and YouTube can just say, ha ha, I will notify no one because YouTube hates when people upload videos regular on their site. Anyway, that's another rant for another day. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. See you now. Have a great day and bye-bye.